What is up, everyone? Now, it is time for Destiny. What will I get for second anniversary heroes? It is very, very, very bad. Uh, what's the appearance rate? Okay, for this one, it's 100%. Okay, but what about after? All right, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let, let's just see <laughs> what happens. I'm really nervous and I don't like this one bit, but I, I need to get Azura. She's the only one that really matters. So... They all make the same noise! Oh no! They all make the same noise! Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. oh no! <laughs> no! Whose stupid idea is this? Whose idea is this? Why? It <laughs> doesn't have to be like that. Why do they think that this is funny? Oh, okay, maybe this is funny. But why do they think this is a good idea? Why? It's all the same sounds. There's no way to indicate which one's the right one. Could please is right the right path? Or maybe maybe he's the west? I heard someone got Azura for going left, but I I feel like I don't know, man. It's so dangerous. Oh god, east or west? North or south? <sighs> Azura is posted on, on that banner on the left side. Sort of. But... Uh, screw it, right? It's gotta be the right path. I actually still cared about plus standing or maybe this would have been a good pick but it isn't I've already sacrificed a couple for speed tactics I've already lost all hope <laughs> why does this happen why <laughs> why how could they even think that this is a good idea and the worst part is, this banner is a regular 3% otherwise. <sighs> you know what? I am very angry at <laughs> this game right now. <sighs> Ooh, voting gauntlet. Here I thought that it might have been an interesting event. Hey, look. I would have a much better time summoning on this banner than that horrible banner just now. Uh, I need that special Spyro. I need to go get it. Maybe I can get it within uh, 200 orbs? Uh, this side, though. This side, you can just kiss my ass. <laughs> what? Jagged? Jagged? Like, look at this. There's like, such a big difference between the two banners. Like, ooh, one has four old heroes, and one has new heroes. Well, I guess Cat isn't as new anymore, but... Well, I just had horrific luck, so maybe I'll get good luck this time. I'll even use both of these orbs, just to see. Just to see. Oh, nope, it's just Raven. I'm going to get the other one, just to see, come on. I might, I might actually, um, spend a little on this banner. I, I want to get one special spire already. No, no, Fedric says no, you cannot. 
very well. It's time for the other one then. Let's see. Oh crap. It was Jagan, it was in and in and it was Enus. I'll go with this one. The right one is the right path, after all, right? <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Oh, I thought I got a five star one for a second there. Not that it matters. 20k feathers is like nothing these days. Well, um, yeah, uh, let's go and uh, get back to the topic at hand. Now, let me just first uh, hit my head on the wall real quick. I'll be back after these messages. And now, back to our show! So, I gave myself a coma by smashing my head against the wall a million times, so I decided to pass out, go to work, and then come back now with, well, once again, a heavy sense of... Why? Like, what made them think that this was a good idea? Alright, okay. So perhaps they thought to themselves, Alright, oh yeah, this, this, this penis master, he's doing these stupid free-to-play guys, and now everyone's clearing our maps, and we are not going to take that anymore. So they decide not only to distribute random IVs to these guys, but, well, we don't even get to pick. Now, I have to think about it for a second, though. It's not actually so, so very bad. Now, Mirth is mainly for, well, if you're not using her, Bold Fighter. And Duma, he's, well, he's got his uh, Dev Res solo, although I don't think it's all that great. Attack Speed solo is probably still better. Because usually when you're in the, uh, when you're usually using solos, you're basically on the attack, so there's really no point in using Devrez solo. Devrez is something that you use when you're tanking something, and if you're tanking something, chances are you're just hiding behind your own lines, well, with your friends providing you with wonderful Drive Dev or Drive Res or something along the lines of that, instead of, well, being all by yourself and using Devrez solo. Yeah, I would have much more mileage with attack and speed solo, especially with uh, our pal um, Walmart. Walmart would be really good with attack speed, but mm, that, mm, I don't know. He, he kind of needed a speed, so it's a little unfortunate, but Duma himself isn't all that great either as fodder. You'd use him. And I don't actually like using him, to be perfectly honest, because I have like six healers that I'm currently using in the... A, a Aether the fence right now, so there's absolutely zero point in me using him. It oh, I lose less points. That's great. Well, I, I don't really have a problem with losing points. I have a problem with gaining points because I don't even play the Aether raids enough. So I have this problem where I just kind of like oh, uh, I forgot to do it. Oh, almost forgot to do it today. So I gotta get that taken care of. But in otherwise, really, I, I don't have much in terms of Aether Raid offense. I, I don't really care about that. And so, Duma just makes things a little easier for me. I lose less points. Boo, whatever. But Legendary Lin, on the other hand, does have her uses in providing speed tactics. There's no other source of speed tactics at the moment. Of course, one of these days it's going to pop up as a seal, maybe. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe next year? It's not something that you get very often. Actually, I think, isn't there, like, another source for speed tactics? Now that I think about it, I, there might have been now. I haven't been keeping track of these guys, but I probably think that there is... Let's see. Legendary Lin, blah, blah, blah. Speed tactics. Hey, of course, the recommended builds don't use speed tactics. So, there it is. Speed tactics... And there are, oh, that's right, Yeager provides it. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, but Yeager's, yeah, pretty crap. And if you're going to get something off of her, you might as well get that crappy A skill off of her, that which isn't all that great either, but it's unique. So Legendary Lin has her uses. That use, but that's it. Honestly, I, I, I would much rather get Azura. I heard a lot of people got her, which is... Well, congratulations to them, but I didn't get it, so I have to go and smash myself in the head and hang myself, but Legendary Lin would have been very pleasant. I mean, alright, it's not like I have to get her, and it's also not like, you know, I'm ungrateful to get free stuff, 
but God does it do they make things feel goddamn awful when it comes to getting stuff for free now I mean I don't know it just doesn't feel like second anniversary I mean, look at this second anniversary heroes the appearance rate is 3.0 I mean they didn't mention that there's gonna be any hero fest or anything and let me tell you if they are going to have hero fest rates they would have announced it I ask currently as it is if there is something that they know that will probably not be all that great they will not announce it and if they have hero fest or something like that oh they'll make every last opportunity to let you know it is banners hero fest you get five percent rate off of this yada 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 but here we are presented with three percent so i mean this anniversary is kind of blah i i know that there are people who are going to be summoning on this banner but a four-person banner like that i might as well just wait for legendary Azura to come back to summon for her, so I will not tap into this banner. A very poor idea. I'm, I'm sure there are people who do it, spend hundreds of hundreds of orbs, not get her, or maybe they'll get her early, but those are, you know, people who are lucky. And those people probably already rolled Legendary Azura because they're lucky. But for me, uh, well, this time I, my luck has ran out. I am not able to pull off this technique. So unfortunately, this banner is... Uh, garbage for me i did get legendary lin i i guess i i mean that that's something I, it's just that i wish i could get her at plus 10. on the other hand leywin though i want to get again i we didn't manage to get him during the hero fest a three person hero fest if i recall correctly that was really disappointing and now well he's back again but well at this weird banner for um Folding gauntlet. I'm gonna try and pull for him, so I think this is what the second part of this video is gonna be about instead of just me going. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again for Lewin. Even though it would be much smarter to wait for Hero Fest, when do those happen? But yeah, this, this anniversary has been really crap so far. I'm not pleased by this. They. I don't know, man. It's gotta be because people have been doing free-to-play maps and they don't, they don't want us to do these things. They don't want us to follow guides or something like that. Not that I follow guides to begin with, or do I care? Because I am a guy who uses six passive pain plus and I don't think there's many other people who have guides for using just healers to tear apart a map. Now, this is about 200 orbs. So to summon Leywin would be a little bit of a stretch. Still, I, I pulled off crazy things before. If I could get one of him, that would be really pleasant for me. That would make this whole experience feel so much better than, well, what just occurred. Like seriously, there's no clues or anything for completely random orbs that you have to summon for a, a character that you may or may not get. It's completely RNG. I, I've heard people who um, summon and well, the orbs location don't matter. The sounds don't matter. So, oh crap, I should have done colorless. Damn it. Why did I pick red? So, it's just, what, what's the point of having a contest or contest? Just, it's not even a contest. It's like this event fun little event where you find and vote heroes that you want and you don't even get the hero that you want it doesn't make a damn sense to me the, the guys probably just want to use this as an opportunity to make money because i know there are people who also rage something uh, burke especially he, he falls victim to that very easily and again I, I, i'm the same way like, fall victim to rage summon, and then they just like, Oh no, I didn't get him, or blah 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 blah, maybe I should spend some money, and then, well, this vicious cycle continues. That's the problem with the game currently. Not that I, I mean, I don't mind that this game, like, wants to make money, that's normal, you know? You, 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 you're still, you know, a company, you want to make money. I mean, this game is free-to-play friendly. It is still going to be free to play friendly forever because of the way this structure is set up but it's the same structure that's currently causing this game grief because well I mean look you just need to summon one hero and you're done 
You want to plus 10 a hero? Oh, very easy! You gather some grails, you use some feathers, all of a sudden, oh yeah, you have a plus 10 unit. Plus 10 units are not the same as they used to be. Back in the day, they were very rare. And it's not something that you would want to invest in unless you have, um, well, a lot of money. I have, well, done bad things in the past. So my investments now are these plus 10 units that I had before. Hey, look, it's racing again. Takes up the whole screen. Really, really scary. Although I don't mind him. Now that I have two of him, I can now merge him into a much better one. Instead of one with a defect. Though, unfortunately, four stars don't show their um, IVs. So I have to... I have to go and get him to five stars in order to find out, figure out which the best IVs, and then mix them. Mix, swirl, mix. Then I'll just use that. Raisin is good because I need dancers. I always will need dancers or singers for Arena Assault. Not that I've been doing Arena Assault much lately either. And by much, I mean at all, because I haven't felt the need to. I just didn't feel like it. It takes up some time and I have a lot of other things to put up with. Like this video had a gap of about 8, no, 12 hours and from me doing the four orbs to now. So as you can see, I have a lot on my mind and I have a lot to deal with. Tomorrow, I have to get up at 7 to drive my my little sister to to school because my mother is like, oh yeah, I can't make it home. I'm like, what? I hate, I absolutely loathe driving, or drive, just waking up at 7. I absolutely loathe getting up at 7. Unless I have some reason to, which unfortunately now I actually have a reason to. I don't want to. I want to stay in bed. I want to stay in bed for a few more hours. I don't want to do, deal with this nonsense. But unfortunately now I have to deal with that nonsense. Probably get a headache because it's 7 in in the morning and I probably can't go back to sleep and I'm gonna get another headache soon because I'm summoning these weird things instead of <laughs> Lewin and it's starting to uh, affect me. In a way I'm actually rage summoning because I well didn't get what I want. Damn it. I, I should be saving these for future healer stuff but I really want one and now I finally got him! This is the power of the sacred Paths of Pain Plus. Alright, I'm a simple traveler, wayward bard, though there's more to my tale, mmm, yeah. Honestly, he's really good and I really want to use him, but unfortunately, well, I kind of can't. I have to sacrifice him. It's like what happened with Hector back in the day. I still regret it to this day. The fact that I, well, merged my Hector, because Hector now is like, pfft, Whatever, dude. Yeah, you, you got him. That's great. But back in the day, it was like having the original first edition Charizard, if you play the uh, Pokemon card game, and he was really, really powerful. You had him, you basically ruled PvP and pretty much everything for a good long time. So, I mean, it's not like he didn't serve me well. It's just that, well, oh, God, he comes with an odd attack wave, too. Like, what is this dude? He's like premium father through and through. God damn it, it makes me want to summon another one. Let's listen to what he has to say. Lead the world warmly, gentle as a breeze. That's a noble way to live. The noble way to live is to get sacrificed <laughs> into one of my mages. I used to think it better that the king be a man who brims with the ambition to rule. I'm nothing more than a wayward bard. Well, this guy is cool. I, I find him cool. It's just, ah, god damn it. I, I don't know if I should summon again. Ah, not that his IVs are good at all. His IVs are, hey, please sacrifice me to Nino IVs. Which is likely what's going to happen. Now, I'm going to have to think about it for a second. I have 119 orbs. I am pretty lucky to get him within 80. So, should I keep risking it? Get another one, perhaps? Not that I have any use for odd, odd attack wave over uh, special spiral, but man, this dude is like premium fodder. And even when March comes along, oh, uh, I can't just get a, an odd attack wave off of him because I only get four, uh, four skills that I can transfer. So I'm in a tough spot here with this dude. I, I don't know. Should I summon another one? Mm. 
I'll, I'll wait like a couple of days. I think I, I think I have done enough damage to my orbs. I really should be saving it for uh, something healer related. So yeah, that's about it for my experience with this banner. And it's... Uh, it just makes me so sick, I don't know what to do. Uh, now that I've decided to walk the path of free to play, it's... I, I can understand where some people are coming from when it comes to summoning. Back then I was like, I spent recklessly, I did whatever I pleased. And now, here I am, I am dealing with limited resources, and I suddenly realize, hey, you know, maybe... Maybe I shouldn't summon on this banner, maybe I shouldn't summon on this banner. Saving banner, uh, saving things for, for months and on. Like, I don't even know how many orbs I have here. Let me push accept all to find out. 115 orbs. So 115 orbs are hidden in here, but I have to use them for something healer related down the line. I can't just go and blow it on Lewin now, especially what happened last time. Hero Fest! Hero Fest, which is supposed to give me like three or four. I got none. I spent like how many orbs? Like 300 to get none. So uh, yeah, let's not push push my luck today. I think I've done enough. Well, anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I think I've said my piece. I like to say some more, but I, I feel like that's going to make the video much longer than it needs to be. So I thank you all for watching. Until next time.